You know, so we've already figured out. Our own government has told us Gallo is a crook. He is a thief and a crook, a liar. And also they're saying, don't kiss deeply because you might exchange Gallo's imaginary virus, which we believe in even though Gallo is almost dead. You know, that, that like, uh, well, what did we do cool? Let's see. We have good movies. We do make good movies sometimes. And we have a medical system that's a huge dragon. You know, I being a part of it, don't ever go to it. <laughs> I don't care whether I have medical insurance or not because I don't ever partake. I like drugs, but I don't like doctors. I don't like the whole system. I think there's something very scary about people wearing white things like that, you know? It sort of reminds me of church. And I think scientists and church is something you ought to think about because they've gotten to be sort of the same. I mean, the Catholics pulled out sort of and the scientists have moved in. And, and the AIDS thing, and this is what I think, we were here in the nice summer air. Let's don't talk about disease. I mean, this, nobody, there's not something called AIDS. There's a lot of people with a lot of different diseases that have all been hoaxed into thinking that they've got this one terrible fatal thing and, and Christine sure has it, you know and she's gonna pass it on to the rest of us. And, and we all do have that one. But we don't have this other stuff, whatever. We, some of us have bad cough. Some of us have got funguses growing all over us. Some of us, I had some funguses growing on me. If I'd have been HIV positive, but I had to turn myself in. So I've got AIDS because I got things between my toes. Then I got some Sporinox and it cleared it up. And so I don't have AIDS. I may have HIV, I never checked. I wouldn't either. You know, I wouldn't either, I wouldn't really try to figure out if I'd ever been a member of the Communist Party either in the 50s. I would have said, I don't think I was. And uh, I'm certainly not gonna want you checking it right now because I'm applying for a job. It's the same kind of thing. It's a, it's a terrible, perjurative kind of a thing. And it, it is, and like people talked about how the test doesn't work and all that stuff, but you know, all the details about whether things work and whether it all fits together, whether hemophiliacs really have AIDS or whether they just have an immune suppression thing, whether Africa is still afloat when it should be all dead people stacking up the last, the last of them there should be stacking up the corpses of the rest of them. Haiti should have been totally wiped out. All of us, there should be 20 million of us with AIDS by now. See, all the predictions turned out not to be true, didn't they? They still have the old beasts. They didn't do that to you, did they? Or you're just lascivious. So am I. I hadn't had one because I don't go to them. You know, you shouldn't go to those people. You know, you go to witch doctors, they're going to put a hex on you. And if you can prove in your mind that our doctors aren't witch doctors, then look at the definition of witch doctors and see if it doesn't fit. I mean, if you want to go to those people, go ahead, but don't expect them to treat you well. You know, why would you think that they're going to treat you well? That's a neurotic claim. We all know that lawyers don't treat you well, don't we? You know, he sends me more, I mean, he tries to take me for a ride. We know that about them. We know that about ourselves. Don't lay yourself at the feet of somebody just because he puts on a white robe and makes statements in Latin.